Avatars of Time, Avatar 4. This avatar is called Sequentiality. It deals, as the title suggests, with sequences. A sequence is a certain event in a timeline that follows another or precedes another. Like in this image, the love you, you love, love you, the meaning is determined by the order of events. So the one event follows the other, which makes a different effect than the other would be following the first. Now we have established that the firstness of events is of great effect. That means that in a one directional progression of time, that what happened needs to remain happened in order to be followed by something else. So the order of cause and effect is set in stone. We exemplify this with the next schedule. Event 1 has a firstness over event 2 and therefore also a firstness on event 3. Event 2 has of course also a firstness on event 3. So far so good. But event 1 can also be the cause of event 2 and therefore in secondary stage of event number 3. This is all happening on one timeline seen from one perspective. But what happens if we add another timeline, a second perspective, a second spectator, a second person? So in this case, the same event could be perceived as happening on a different point in the timeline. That means that the events remain the same, but the perception of when this is taking place is different. In this case, that means that event 2 on timeline B precedes event 2 on timeline A in the same way that event 3 on timeline A precedes event 3 on timeline B. So now the difficulty starts. Because so far we have been talking about real events, actualized events, progressing on the same timeline. But what if there would be an anticipated event, an exam for instance, which has such an effect on the current state of someone in the now, that the progression of timeline Y in this case would be interrupted because of the fear of getting to this exam. That means that the timeline would be switched from Y to Z and in this case the whole future event which was of such big importance and influence on the current events would not even take place. A second example could be that a future event would bring information about a past event which on its turn then changes its character, its meaning, its influence and therefore influences the current event as such. I will try to exemplify the importance of sequencing by showing the opposite, something which is not a sequence at all. I will try to break through the sequence by leaving this train station in a New York subway we depart and then, to our big surprise, we will arrive again at exactly the same spot. We start to wonder, did we arrive in some type of wonderland? We are perhaps lost in the meaning of this sequence, because here we depart again. Same subway, same station, and by now without much surprise, we will arrive again with the same people. So what we can see here is this expectation of something else happening after the first event has passed is exactly what is the basis of a sequence. We cannot deal with a sequence which is not followed by another or preceded for that matter. And I hope this exemplifies avatar number four. Thank you for watching.